Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion, and I'm Bill Stone. Now, I want to make clear that as the disclaimer on this video states, this video is purely for educational purposes only. It will discuss the techniques currently used by intellectual property pirates in mid-2020. The specific audience for this video are those in the IT security sector, and I spent 40 years in IT with IT security being one of my specialties. It is always imperative that current techniques be studied in detail so that my colleagues can protect both themselves, their clients, and their companies. However, I know that I have an audience that comes here generally for science fiction, and this is certainly something that you will find useful as well, because there are some techniques employed by pirates that have legitimate purposes, and where that occurs, I will say so. Some of them are extremely useful in in terms of keeping your own online security. However, under no sh circumstances should anyone watching this video attempt the piracy techniques. Many of them are considered illegal in many jurisdictions around the world. So again, this is an educational video intended primarily for IT security professionals and the techs, techni techniques detailed here are for the purposes of allowing IT professionals to devise countermeasures. Now, for quite some time, the primary method for pirates was the BitTorrent protocol. Now, BitTorrent differs from ordinary download protocols in that there is no centralized source for any given download. Instead, many hundreds, maybe thousands of individuals may have the entire file or pieces of the file. They swap pieces together amongst each other in what is called a swarm. You can kind of see it here. There are a lot of people who have individual bits of the file and they just talk to each other, swapping tiny pieces until eventually a person has the entire file. Any individual with a portion of the file is called a peer. And then peers who have 100% of a file are called a seed. Peers with less than 100% of a file are called a leech. BitTorrent can be a much faster way to download files, as bandwidth isn't limited to a single server or host's bandwidth. With a very healthy swarm, it can be limited only by your own personal bandwidth. I have, in fact, gotten multi-gigabyte files downloaded at 2 to 4 megabits per, per second using what internet that I have. Uh, typically, if you have, say, an hour-long video, it will only take 5 minutes to download. Now, it should be mentioned that by its nature, BitTorrent isn't necessarily a piracy program. It can be used by anyone who wish, dis, wishes to distribute files in a way that doesn't mean that their sole burden of bandwidth or the fact that there is the file there is for an individual hosting this file. It also means higher tolerance in the event that a primary distribution center or a site goes down for some reason. In a swarm like this, you don't have that. BitTorrent is used for things like Linux distributions. Many Linux distributions offer torrents, and that means that it is both much more fault tolerant, you will always have the torrent out there somewhere, and it is generally a healthy torrent that will then be limited only by your bandwidth. Also, places like Star Trek continues. It distributes their Blu-ray sets and many other uh, types of videos and artwork, and lots of other people do the same thing. And for that matter, I am permanently seeding, um, it's called perma-seeding, I am permanently seeding those Star Trek Continues Blu-ray sets, as well as permanently hosting files that are related to the Christchurch, New Zealand um, mosque murders. To use a BitTorrent technology, you really only need two things, a file or link that represents the file that you want to download, and a BitTorrent client that can process the link to the file. Now, there are many BitTorrent clients. My preferred client is Transmission. And there are versions of this for Windows, Mac, and Linux, as well as unofficial versions for Android and iOS. And you can find the main versions at transmissionbt.com, and there's a link to that in my description box. And the unofficial ones are available in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. Transmission is a very easy to use program. In normal circumstances, all you need to do is install it and run it. Some web browsers, in fact, will integrate it so that if you click torrent links, Transmission will automatically open and process the file with a link. And once you have the complete file and you have become a seed, it is generally considered good etiquette to seed the file until you have uploaded it fully twice. And it'll show you the percentage of that you've uploaded. You want to get to, you know, two times. Now, you can add additional security, as pirates do, by adding a blacklist or a block list that will 
stop various entities from discovering that you are part of a swarm. This is very integral to when people are doing piracy. Intellectual property pirates use these to mask their activities from copyright holders who may be checking for swarms and services that are employed by copyright holders. And it's very easy to put into the uh, uh, pr preferences of your uh, transmission and I have a link to uh, what is generally considered a pretty good block list in my description below. Now torrents can be obtained either via files that end in a dot torrent file extension or with URLs that begin with a magnet colon rather than an HTTP or HTTPS colon. And for a variety of security reasons, magnets are generally preferred over torrent files. However, you can, where you find one, you will usually find the other. Loading a torrent or a magnet has become more challenging over time due to the protocols used by pirates. So the U.S. federal government has become very active in shutting down um, sites that either host or index torrent files. The longest running site in existence is the Pirate Bay. However, I can't put a link to it because that will probably risk YouTube flagging this video that I have made for purely educational purposes. However, at the moment, the URL for the Pirate Bay is thepiratebay.cr. Now that domain name, .cr, changes from time to time as the Pirate Bay basically moves around to avoid anyone taking it down. However, it's actually very easy to find torrents without specific websites in mind, and pirates do this all the time. Doing this securely and reliably requires the adoption of a couple of other things that are used by pirates as a matter of course. However, they are also very, very useful if you want to maintain some level of online security for yourself, and I'll talk about those in a moment. It's also possible to create a torrent of your own, such as I have done with the Christchurch shooting it, uh, uh, information. And you can begin seeding this um, to others. I, as I say, I have this perma seed that I created for that. Doing this um, it requires the same software mentioned, but actually it's beyond the scope of this video. If you have transmission for very long, you'll discover by doing some searches on the internet that making a torrent is actually something that's pretty easy, and you'll learn to be able to do it on your own. But regardless if one is a pirate or not, it is a fantastically good idea to change your web browser from either Microsoft Edge, Safari, Google Chrome. Firefox is a possible choice, but my recommendation is the Brave web browser, and you can find that at brave.com, and I have a link to that in my description box. Brave is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, Android, and iOS. It's got the same source code base as Google Chrome, but without all of the spyware that Google puts into it. Brave, in fact, has some ad blocking and privacy protection built right into it. And Brave also integrates with the Chrome extension repository, which means that there is a wealth of extensions automatically available to it. Now, I suggest that you install everyone, whether you're a pirate or not, two additional uh, security extensions. One of them is uBlock Origin. Now, while Brave does have good ad blocker built into it, uBlock Origin is one that is even far more effective. And between the two, you will never see another ad on the internet ever again. It even removes ads from YouTube videos. The removal of these ads will cause your apparent speed to probably double. Because you're not pulling these ads down at all, it is not sucking up your bandwidth to do so. UBlock Origin can be installed simply by adding it through the extension manager within the Brave browser. I also suggest Ghostery. Ghostery has also an ad blocker, thus making you triple protected, and it's rather redundant, but that's not really what I use Ghostery and not, not what its main purpose is. Ghostery offers additional privacy by blocking trackers used by sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Google, YouTube, and virtually every other site you visit. These trackers are designed to collect your data without your knowledge. Ghostery also has a smart blocking feature which speeds up play, page loading and optimizes uh, performance by automatically blocking and unblocking trackers to meet the quality criteria established for the page. But again, it is essentially stopping people from seeing what you're doing. And I can't stress enough that everyone should use Brave, uBlock Origin, and Ghostery. Other browsers often have tracking and data collection software built into them. Chrome is the worst. Uh, Google Edge right behind it. By switching to Brave with these extensions, you'll be doing yourself a gigantic favor in terms of controlling your own online security. 
Now, another thing that everyone, pirates and normal individuals alike, should use is the DuckDuckGo.com search engine. And I have a link to that below. It's pretty simple, DuckDuckGo.com. DuckDuckGo um, is a competitor search engine to Google. But unlike Google, it tracks absolutely nothing. Google tracks everything that you do. Every site that you visit and all of your activities, if as much as possible, are tracked by Google. Every single thing you do is known. It is shared to law enforcement and private companies alike. DuckDuckGo tracks nothing. It's just as simple as that. You make a simple search, it gives results, and that is all. Nor does DuckDuckGo.com attempt to uh, shape searches based on political or other biases. Links are returned based on the information you ask for and not on what Google's corporate policy thinks that you should see. It's now at a point, in fact, where DuckDuckGo's capabilities have exceeded those of Google's. I only ever resort to Google for some very specific image searches, but these have decreased to near nothing in the last six months. DuckDuckGo.com is simply the only search engine you should ever use, period. DuckDuckGo does come as the default search engine for Brave, and you can configure it to be the default search engine for any other browser. And the instructions to do it if you go to DuckDuckGo.com are actually right there on the website. So stop using Google and start using DuckDuckGo. It is as simple as that. Now, pirates often prefer DuckDuckGo because it doesn't mask sites that assist in piracy. Now, if a particular torrent site, such as the Pirate Bay, is unavailable, it is still easy to find torrents. All that a pirate needs to do is enter search terms such as, I don't know, if you're looking for a video, say for like Doctor Who, you might put Doctor Who inside of quotes, followed by the word torrent. And make sure you include the quotation marks, it'll make, turn up better searches. It's often necessary to click on several different sites before you find one that has a uh, pirate uh, index site that hasn't been taken down. So pirates often have to search several times. But after a few clicks, pirates will be able to find one that works. Now in recent uh, years, BitTorrent for video has actually been almost completely supplanted by viewing copyrighted videos on indexing sites. You see, there are thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands, of sites where users anonymously upload videos taken from streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, CBS All Access, Disney Plus, etc. Videos are typically uploaded within minutes of them having dropped on a streaming service. Now, video quality varies, but as time goes on, 1080p is becoming the norm. And the URLs that are produced by these sites are completely unpredictable and virtually unsearchable. However, there are also hundreds and maybe thousands these days of sites that index the upload sites. The index sites then give the appearance of hosting videos while actually hosting nothing. They aren't really illegal because there are no videos on their sites. It is indexes to other sites. Now Google will attempt to hide these indexing sites. DuckDuckGo does not. This makes it a very simple matter for pirates to uh, find videos that they would otherwise have to pay in order to view. However, it is an absolute necessity for pirates to use the Brave web browser as well as the uBlock Origin and Ghostery extensions. Otherwise, all kinds of pop-ups and adware will, will appear when you click these sites. The indexing sites make their money off of sending you to ads, and adware and spyware will get installed unless you're using Brave, uBlock Origin, and Ghostery. When they're used, finding a video or film, or even an entire TV series, becomes as easy as entering search terms such as watch and maybe, quote, Star Trek Picard, and quote, online free. Just make sure that you use the quotes. Um, otherwise, it won't necessarily return what you're looking for. But this will return page upon page of potential sites. And uh, some of them are <coughs> index sites with links to videos. Now, some are just places where they're giving you information about where to find a film or a TV series on a streaming service. And, of course, if you're not a pirate, that's what you should be doing. But pirates simply click links until they found an index site and then watch the video right inside their web browser. Now, there's no one specific site that can always be used because they change with the wind in order to avoid takedowns or prosecution. But it's really as simple as that. 
with Brave, Ublock Origin, and Ghost Reused, finding a video, a film, or entire TV series becomes as simple as entering search, search terms such as watch, quote, Star Trek Picard, end quote, online, free. And again, make sure to use the quotes. Otherwise, you know, when pirates do it, they won't come back with the appropriate things. It'll bring back stuff that you don't care about. So that is all that I have to say about that in this video that I have made purely for educational purposes and that I hope my colleagues in the IT security field will find useful. And I'd love to keep this conversation going, so please leave your comments, questions, and nasty remarks, and I'll do my best to respond to you. So thanks for watching. That is all the time that we have today for this episode of Tales from SYL Ranch, where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.